Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So the town of Tantrum has an issue. Our generic industrial area does not have enough workers. So to fix this not enough workers issue, the town of Tantrum got approved funding from the government to create public housing projects. So as we start our public housing project, I wanted to get into not enough workers. So two issues come up with not enough workers. One, if you look at my screen, I have a ton of demand for residential. Then the second part is, is do your current Sims have any way to get to the industrial area that you're trying to fill? Well, this public housing project works perfect because it kind of fits the bill for both. Right now, all of my residential is not nearby and we do not have a good way for sims to walk to work so now back to the public housing build you're going to notice that we only use three different types of residential buildings that's because when there is public housing projects created you are getting money from the government and you have a very limited budget so the thing is is we have three different residential buildings because if you do pay for additional buildings to be built and created, all of that costs money. So if you use the same buildings over and over and over again, you're saving money because all the designs are the same, you know how to build it, and you're not paying somebody to completely design a different building. So now that most of the residential buildings are completely built and in place, like you could see we have two mid-rises, you're gonna see the start of a lot of detailing. So I'm gonna to start to fill in a lot of this with concrete or dirt itself. So now that we have the concrete in place, we do wanna fill it with different things. So for example, I used the move it tool and I used it and I placed the basketball court there. Now, does it fit perfectly? No, but what you can do is with the move it tool, I moved everything up and it kinda of worked out really, really well. Then the next thing you're going to notice is we added a jungle gym so for things to do so basically this is a really good place for recreation for kids and families because hey we have a lot of residents in this area and they're going to need something to do so as we keep going along we are definitely adding trees and we're definitely doing more detailing now you're going to see this narrow alley so a lot of the projects in the united states are not very well kept so you're gonna see a lot of overgrown trees. You're, right now I'm placing actually mattresses that are dirty. I'm placing boxes and garbage. Basically a lot of the projects are not very well taken care of. So there's a lot of junk essentially. So now that a majority of our residential area is intact, the next part we had to focus on was the commercial districting. And what I did was I plopped different items that I downloaded from the Steam Workshop, which one of them is a liquor store, there's a bank, there's a few different grocery stores and a few different restaurants that I do eventually start plopping down. So as um, the one thing I will say is that there is a family dollar and that is the best place to buy your card. So if you have birthdays, Mother's Days, whatever, they cost like 50 cents. Anyways, now that all those buildings are in place, you're gonna see more detailing. So please enjoy the time-lapse and we'll talk to you very soon. and welcome back guys from the time lapse and this is our finished public housing project and i think everything turned out very 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 well 
Like you can see that as we zoom in that our detailing was pretty on point with filling everything in so that there wasn't really gaps in what, what you're looking at basically in the project area. Like our little recreation area, that's probably my favorite part. I did add a parking lot for those apartments across the street because guess what? That in an apartment complex, there's definitely a lot of people living and street parking, not the greatest. So you can tell that there is a lot of overgrown trees. There's a lot of trash in this alley. So we did try to represent the project area pretty well. And um, I, well, we, we, we represent it with trash, but um, you know, a lot, of, like I mentioned before, a lot of the projects are not very well taken care of, but again, the, this project area turned out very, very well. This corner store turned out great. We made a makeshift parking lot. We added a little recreational area. I mean, it just fit together very, very well. And look, it's Prez Wine and Liquor. So thank you, Prez, for that asset. But as you can tell, we did a little bit more detailing with a little bit more trees as time went on. And our, you know, we just filled in the blanks, essentially. We filled in everything to where people, you know, will actually, you know, it'll, it'll look nice, essentially. So the last part of this build was we did add buses and we did add a walking path. Now the walking path, we know that Sims love to walk and we put a walking path directly to the industrial area. Now the funny part is, is a lot of people will walk to that bus line, but in hindsight though, people are using the bus lines. People are using, you know, that walking path. And essentially we fixed our not enough workers. And it's worked out really, really well. So guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you hated this video, dislike it. If you liked it, liked it. Hit me a, hit me sub, blah, 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 blah. Great English. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Stay safe out there.